Viney steps inside, gets around Hoskin off the side of the boot a little. Pedersen's got to be good in the air. Now Neil Bullock charts Petrarca around the corner. No, unselfish. He spotted Hogan. Bounces between a couple of demons. Brayshaw to Hogan. Little one to the leading McDonald. That's great play there by Hogan because the moment can get the better of you in a big game like this. You know, the opposition's kicked a lot of goals just to steady and show that poise. And I think in the first 10 minutes of this game, the moment has got the better of Melbourne and now they're just finding, regaining yep. their composure, Tim. That, that's definitely a factor for me. It's been amazing watching Joel Smith as well. He's gotten first crack at replacing Jake Lever, who's out with that injury, as we know. Five disposals already, four tackles, one holding the ball free kick and that enormous smother. 12-2 from set shots this year. Make it 13-2. That's the one they wanted. One late in the opening term. 21 points the margin now. Two straight the Demons. And what a revelation. Tom McDonald has been forward. 26 from six games and 20 minutes of footy this year. Well, Tom McDonald, big important goal there nearing the quarter time break. Somehow ends up in Smith's hands. Clever little give this time from Harms to Lewis. He finds his man. So it's going to be a long way from home. Doesn't quite hit it as he would have liked. It's going to go very close. McDonald! I reckon Petrarca may have been thinking that he was within range then. That's awfully Jeremy, deep to kick the ball up, if it was a pass to his bigs. He's spending most of his career trying to stop the big forwards. Now he's trying to become one. McDonald gets another for the Deeds. Back to three goals. Well, if you're going to play him down there, you've got to use him. They've got the three tools now. Tommy McDonald, we know how effective he's been this season. Often starts on the wing like he did today, then pushes forward. Peterson's down there. You've got Hogan down there. They just need to get some cohesion between the three of them and isolate their direct opponents and see if they can't go to work on this Collingwood defence that's been really stoic for most of the afternoon. So McDonald with the juggler there. No problems. First hands on it. You pay that. Second before it crossed the line. He's got those suction marks on his shoulder too, hasn't he? 82,000 people for a Queen's birthday game, I can tell you. Viney's kick, so another opportunity now. We know he's got the journey. Wonder why he didn't. McDonald, that's why. He's and become the factor, hasn't he, BT? Yep. So he's right pushing Deuce third. Getting him deep, getting that matchup right. Look at this penetrating kick, though. Look at the low trajectory. I mean, that arrives really quickly. I think he actually got there quicker than the Collingwood defender thought that it was going to. This to chisel it back to 16 points. McDonald kicks his third. Melbourne are back within 16, and therefore Melbourne are back in the game. So the last two to the D's, and they've been critical. Still plenty of time to play in the third. End of the first, it was a pies by 23. Narrowed a little. They got it back to five during the second term, the Demons, and then three of the last four went the way of Collingwood. 19 points at halftime. 16 now. Momentum, perhaps with the red and blue. Max Gorn has been spelled for the last five minutes, so he'll be fresh for the latter part of this third term. Five to play in the third. The big men drag themselves to ground. Gorn becomes a rover, tries to work it over his shoulder. Hoskin in it, knew he couldn't take it. Fists it forward. Jetter in the right spot. Players collide in the middle of the MCG. Melcham, little sidestep, knows he's under pressure. Works it wide. Good vision, good kick. Chance for Fritch. Back onto his left boot. Thumping ball forward. McDonald, he's the target. He ends up with a footy. Has he got it illegally? Umpire says no. Just here, Tom. Tom. What he did Tom, was Tom, what you're allowed to do. I mean, you're allowed to make body contact. Just this is a really good kick in the end. But the way that he he makes contact with Scharenberg early. Yeah.
That's just a battle of strength. The most unlikely source of goals this year. A Dow defender for the bulk of his career. Suddenly, he's the go-to man. McDonald's got four for the afternoon. And he narrows the gap to three goals. Four to play, third term. Heaving crowd. A lot to play for. Top eight clash. And in a year where top four is, as always, the aim, it's a big swing if you can secure the four points this afternoon. He's been the man, though, hasn't he, deep this quarter, being able to play inside that 30 metres closer to the goal. The isolation, he's the one that they've got to continue to go to. Fourth time in the last five weeks that he's had at least four goals, Tom McDonald. So the last six weeks have been the best in the club's history in terms of percentage from a Melbourne perspective. Never had six more dominant weeks in a row than they've had Melbourne, but they've been brought back to earth this afternoon. Free kick to Tom McDonald again. Sharon Berg just getting in his back, just holding him. Just watch this. And that's what they're looking for. The umpires are looking for the two arms around, the wrap around. This one went over the shoulder, the left arm over the shoulder, clearly. That's a free kick to McDonald. Where would they have been without him this afternoon, Melbourne? Mason Cox, 5-1 for the Pies. Tom McDonald, five straight for the Ds, but it doesn't count for much. It's been Collingwood from the get-go. They got the first through Mason Cox and led at the first change by 23 points, 19 at half-time. Whopping 35 now. There's that angle of the free kick just front on there. The arm, the left arm of Sharon Bird going over the shot. This is the big body of Tom McDonald. Leading out from the goal square. That's where he's done his best work this afternoon. Tries to get rid of Langdon. Shrugged the shoulders out wide to Fritch. Little left footer around the corner. Good ball. Mark Neil Bullen. Bullen. Little chip to Spargo. Who lit it up in the second turn. But he's tapered a little. Long ball again. Front spot. Well, McDonald again at full stretch. Got to... The right spot. Speaking to a few at the club during the week, they're amazed at how McDonald can continue to take the ball at the top of the stretch. So this he unbelievably... Might have, uh, he might have gone a bit early with his re-signing at Melbourne as well. This unbelievably... Probably cost him about a million bucks, Hammer. <laughs> Some people aren't all about money, Tim. I'm just thinking out aloud. 5-2, his previous best in an afternoon. Well, he's gone past that. He's got half a dozen. Hasn't missed. But the Demons are going to go home empty-handed. It's still a seven-goal game. Good effort. It's a good effort from Tom McDonald. It's not just recent form. It's all year. All year. Yeah, no, all year. And uh, 19 from his six matches coming into today. And the story is really, at one point, uh, I think it was last season, uh, Simon Goodwin and the coaching staff believed that he was struggling as a defender, so they decided to push him forward. And uh, now they don't want to push him back. Even with Jakey Lever's injury, they want to keep him up the front half.